Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we killed a Lemoyne Raider and collected a bounty. This time we're gonna go track down this Italian dude that has Jack. Well you look down right full like that. I can't prove it that the bank Excuse me, you frickin' whore. Why the hell do you care? My well that's downright impolite. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? Come on now, I'm out of my own damn business. Leave me be! You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. I ain't gonna take this! I reckon the back of your head might be your best feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, how right I was. <laughs> Don't do nothing, all right? <laughs> Come on. Rude freaking bitch! Okay, let's track this guy down. First place to look is the saloon. What? I don't know where it came from, and I don't feel like tracking it down. Actually, you will. Oh, it's the women with the right to vote. You know, in Texas, women had the right to vote. Any, Basically, in the Republic of Texas, if you owned land, you had the right to vote. And any free citizen had the right to own land. stole. None of my business. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So... Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's <laughs> all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Greetings. Oh, he's gonna have some fun. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lemoyne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Hmm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless hey, we can I get a drink here? Away. I'll get you in a second. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they're lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that, bro. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Whiskey. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So... Mr. Scotch, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a no, fellow? Not really a Scotch man Dante. myself. Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, 
Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Yes. The big, the Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. You'll be careful now. Thank you. Oh Lord, this guy again. Good morning, sir. Leave my horse here and walk into the alley. of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're impossible. Well, actually, yeah. she's... Is there something you need? Right. Looking for some kids. Nauseated is the feeling. Nauseous is the cause of the feeling. Well, actually, nauseous is stomach nauseated. I don't remember. Why are them little peckerhead kids? Morning. Yeah, yeah, morning. Clear! I need the pad. Yeah, the damn way. Careful now! Cantonese, okay. Shipping town, yeah. It would have a lot of immigrants just due to it's a shipping town. They it's international trade and whatnot. There's some snot nosed hey. pecker woods. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the scene, <coughs> mister? Pretty Something much. like that. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. I'm leaving, bastard. It's 
I'll kill that little shit. I mean, it's a trolley. Where can it really go? Kill you, you little shit! Damn, this again. Actually, it is. I read in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. So they tell you your dog's a cat now. You just start calling him Mythos. That ain't really the same thing. Facts. They make half of them up. Where are you, you thieving little shit? I'll put a bullet in your head. Check the upstairs. Going up, god damn. He's got nowhere to run. Why do people keep getting it? Why does it keep slowing me down like this? talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte the kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> now come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. 
He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. All that trouble. Why the my 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 what's going on with the controls? There it goes. Can anybody show me some kindness? Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Here, have a quarter. Go get yourself some to eat. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's Snake nice oil. Give something instead of just begging. I suppose it is. There's the gun store, but they ain't got nothing new for me. I can check one more time. Welcome back. Come in. Let me see what's available. Like I said, I want this Mauser pistol, but it ain't gonna happen. I already have a Scrofield revolver. Let's do some customizing. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. You know, uh, we sell plenty of parts to improve that weapon. I'm sure you do. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I've already improved the sights. I can see you look after your fireball. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. that engravings really stand out. Maybe I should have chosen a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Yeah, thank you. Oh, 
I want those semi-auto weapons, but it's probably going to be a while before I can get those. There's Dutch. Is he in here? Where the money just slips through a man's hand. I heard rumors the liars' people are securing voters with money rather than truth. Let's just say I wish I did. Oh, that's not pres that's not topical at all. There you are, Dutch. Oh, Mr. Vanderland. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Okie dokie. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know, and far from real open country. Yeah, that's always prevalent. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you for watching. Just knocked a bottle on the floor. I'm gonna end this one here. Signing off.